This might be the coolest idea on Midjourney. Hello my friends, how are you doing? This video is a collaboration between Tokenized and me. He came up with the idea of theme infusion. So in this video, we're gonna explore that idea. I'm gonna add my own twist and turn it up to 11. But before we get started, I wanna remind you to have an amazing Facebook group you should join and I have a Discord you should also join to talk with other people live. Let's get started. So here we have an image of a wolf in the forest. Here we are using the Robomar formula, professional color grading, soft shadows, no contrast, clean, sharp focus, film photography, AR 2x3 minus minus V4 for version 4. So all of that so far is pretty cool. The images are fairly different because it doesn't tell you specifically what you want to have. Now the idea here from Tokenized is you prepare the prompt, the style, the expression that you want to have through your prompt and then you can transfer this prompt into any kind of other situation with the theme infusion. So here is the theme infusion. Now we have autumn rain theme and you can see this is now a multi-prompt. Now multi-prompt means that you have one part of the prompt and you end it by writing colon colon then you have a space and then you start the next prompt. In this case autumn rain theme colon colon one. One is the weight here. You can see the first prompt doesn't have a weight. The second one has a weight of one and this works really well. So here we have our wolf. It is clearly autumn because of course the leaves in the background, golden leaves, very nice scenery. And then we have the rain, we have the wet fur, everything works out really well. Here we have another situation where all of the prompt is the same, but now we have a winter theme also with the weight one. And again, this is working surprisingly well. So again, the idea here is that you prepare a prompt that works really well with a scenery, a style and expression, in this case, this kind of photorealism that we want to have. And then you want to put it in different kind of scenarios. It doesn't really work too well with seats. So that is why all of the images are different. You can reroll to get something similar. And when we upscale here, we still have a pretty amazing wolf. Now he has some snow in the fur. And of course, with the weight, you can play around how much winter it is. You can actually adjust that in the image, which is pretty amazing. I will show you that at the end of the video. Let's go on here with another thing because you might say, hey, if the seat doesn't work, how about variations? Well, variations don't work at all. So here I use the original prompt for winter that you've seen right before this one. And I clicked on variation and I said summer theme instead. As you can see, it doesn't work. It turns the image into something strange. It's still beautiful if you want to have that, but it doesn't really, it's not controlled. Let's go on here to what else we can do. So for example, you can put it into a completely different scenario. Here, we still have the wolf in the forest, but now we have it with full moon night theme, which is amazing. You can see we have different variations. I really like that one where we have a big moon in the background. Now, of course, you want to reroll a little bit because you can can see the tail here is way too big and the hind legs they look like they are sticked on like for a puppet but overall it's a pretty good start of course as i said gonna turn this to 11 and just try out different things you can do even if they might be crazy so in this case i said why not turn it into a horror movie theme i gotta say this turned out a lot better than i expected now here you can see we suddenly have a person in there. So you could use a negative prompt like minus minus no, right person. Or what you can also do is to write a negative weight. For example, you write person colon colon minus one or minus 0 0.5 to remove people from your image. In this case, I think for a horror image, it actually works really well. Now, one thing that didn't work so well here is you can see that the wolf is kind of splitting up, which is a little bit interesting because it kind of looks like trees that are furry and then grow into a wolf but at the same time i rather would have like a actual like wolf body back there i can understand from the artistic idea that is mid journey is putting in here that to see the silhouette of the man standing there you need to have a bright background and that wouldn't work with the body of the wolf still there might be a better solution and of course you might be able to fix that in photoshop Let's go on here with another crazy idea, and that is 
how about adding expressions like that? So here I wrote angry expression. In this case, I pushed it a little bit harder. So the weight is 1.5 and it works fairly well, I have to say. Now, one thing I want to point out here, especially in this case, is you can see with the teeth, Sometimes it didn't work anatomically correct to get nice teeth. Now here we go even further. Robotic Wolf 1.5. And that again, it worked surprisingly well. We still have the wolf, the wolf body even, with the wolf fur even. And then it has also these robotic parts stuck to it. So as a concept, as an idea, as an artistic work, that is absolutely amazing. I sent this to Tokenize and he said, how about trying it without Wolf? And I tried that, it only created a robot. So he sent me another prompt where he said, robotic theme, but now 0 0.65. So lowering the weight and that turned out similar to this image here. Next, another crazy idea here is why not completely change the theme of the image? So in that case, we have 80s movie theme and that turned out much better than I expected. I love the composition with the car in the foreground, the colors, everything has this kind of retro futuristic vibe here. The color combination of the teal blue and the orange red, the little kind of bloody red in there, the giant wolf, the guy who's kind of lost in there in the middle. Everything about that is really amazing. Now here, I want to show you also the impact of weights. So first I wrote this prompt, Paris Ellie with the Eiffel Tower in the background, colon, colon, movie theme, colon, colon, one. And then of course we have the ratio and the version. So the reason why I wrote a movie theme is because I wanted to have something that already has the theme part in it, but then at the same time doesn't influence the image too much. But now I'm changing this over to cyberpunk theme and we are increasing the weight with every step. So here we have 0 0.2 and we still have the Eiffel Tower in the background. The alley is there. So this is the same full prompt. I just changed movie theme to cyberpunk theme and change the weight. But you can already see here that we have dystopian colors and it feels a little bit eerie. Now with 0.4, it gets even more eerie, but the Eiffel Tower in the background is still there. With 0.6, the Eiffel Tower now also changed into kind of a cyberpunk construct. With 0.8, the Eiffel Tower is gone, but I still feel like this is a futuristic version of Paris, especially because of the balconies, the shape of the window and the shape of the streetlights kind of has a little bit of a French Parisian expression in there. With one, this completely changed into something else, but still I feel like has a little bit of a Paris vibe, especially with these bikes parked there at the side of the road. With 1.2, amazing image, really love the colors, really love the composition, but that is now mostly just cyberpunk because the weight of our cyberpunk theme has taken over. It is stronger than the original prompt in there. Now here is an alternative that you could do to bring it back to Paris and bring back in the Eiffel Tower. Here the prompt is Paris Alley colon colon one, Eiffel Tower in the background colon colon two, cyberpunk theme colon colon two. Now the way to understand these weights is that you add all of them together. So in this case we have two plus two plus one is five. And in that number of five, each of them take their relative weight. And what we get as a result is that Ellie with a big Eiffel Tower in the background this time, because now the Eiffel Tower is twice as strong as the Ellie, but we also have these cyberpunk theme colors. The guy also looks kind of cyberpunkish. I'm pretty happy with this. We can still play around with the weights more. Now here's a final trick that I want to show you today. We have here a very cute cat wearing a witch hat and rope. Movie theme one again, so it doesn't change too much in the image. Here we have an upscale. You can see how absolutely cute that is. But of course, how about we put these cats into different sceneries, into different situations. So here we have the same prompt, but now laboratory theme. In this case, I lowered it a little bit so it is not 
overthrowing our original prompt. In this case, we have a weight of 0.65. And as you can see, we have the cute cat wearing the witch hat and a little bit of a rope in this case, not a complete rope, but this is absolutely a laboratory scene. Here we have the same idea, but now we have it in a library or at least with a book. Here we have the upscale of our library cat with the soft paws on the book. Isn't that just magical? So that's it for today. The theme infusion. Try it out yourself on mid journey. And of course, you can also use weights in stable diffusion. Let me know in the comments if I should show you how that works. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And also don't forget to join my Facebook group and my Discord. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.